Hello, welcome. Take a moment, try this problem out, and then press play when you're ready to solve it with me. Okay, so let's read it together. It says, as x increases from 0 to pi over 2, so I'm just going to rewrite that for myself. So that's 0 to 90 degrees. Nothing wrong with radians, but I'm going to think about that context. The graph of the equation y equals 2 times the tangent of x will do which is the following. So this 2 right here will stretch our graph vertically, but I'm not concerned about it. We don't need that here. We don't need to think about it, I should say. Uh, in fact, I'm going to ignore it, and I'll show you that in a moment. Uh, but basically, it stretches the tangent, and tangents are kind of like, if you've never seen a tangent before, let me just sketch it real, really roughly here. I guess I'm kind of, oops, I'm kind of giving away maybe parts of the answer, but the idea is that if you have a tangent function, there are these asymptotes, these points that, of these lines that the tangent can't reach. So I'll just graph two of them here, here, and here. And those are at pi over 2 and negative pi over 2. And the parent tangent function, so you put those two lines there, put 0 in the middle, and then at pi over 4, tangent has a height of 1. We'll go over that. And then at negative pi over 4, it has a height of negative 1 down here. 1, negative 1. So then it kind of looks like this shape, right? So if you multiply it by 2, you just take that shape and you stretch it vertically, right? Something like this. So it's still going to have the same kind of behavior, right? Um, and as you can see that as it goes between 0, here's 0 and pi over 2, it's increasing without limit. That's the answer, choice 3. It would decrease without limit, let's say, if we were going from 0 to negative pi over 2. Or... Um, it, there are other intervals we can look at. But really, to understand this question, I think we should look at the unit circle. So the unit circle right here, what I've done is, so in the unit circle, a circle with a radius of 1, so this length right here is 1. Boop. And usually what is covered is that this value right here, because we're looking at some angle theta, let's say this is our angle theta, the sine of theta would, well, to get to this point, this point's got some x and y value. This, this is the opposite over hypotenuse. So the opposite side here, y, should do that in red, right? Over 1 is just the sine. So the sine of theta is just 1. It's just y, excuse me. So I'll say that again because I messed that up. <laughs> the sine of theta is opposite over hypotenuse, and opposite is y, and hypotenuse is 1, so it's just y. And then the, co the cosine, let's say, is this right here because the cosine of theta is adjacent over 1 or x over 1, which is just x. And we usually say, okay, that means for any point, the x value is our cosine of theta and the y of that point is our sine of theta. But where is the tangent? Well, what we have to understand is that the first thing is that the tangent of theta does equal the sine of theta over the cosine of theta or the y over the x. So right away we could say as we go from our points from here to here to here to here to here, the ratio, that ratio is approaching infinity. Because if you look at this point, for example, right here, the x value is really small, but the y value is approaching 1. And as you get really, really close here, x gets really, 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 really tiny, really close to 0, and y is approaching its maximum of 1. So eventually, y will reach 1 and x will reach 0, where it's undefined, but as it approaches pi over 2, there's no limit to that, right? You could try this out in the calculator. If, you know, if you want to see what that ratio is of y to x with a tangent, just try it out. Try the tan of 89. It's pretty big. Okay, but then as we go, as the, the tan of 89.9, as we're approaching 90, that ratio is becoming larger, 572, 89.9999. Boom. Right now we're in the hundred thousandths. As we're getting closer and closer, that's because as we get closer and closer to 90, x is getting smaller and smaller and smaller, but y is approaching 1. So that's one way to look at it. Another way to look at it, what I like about this diagram, let me get rid of these dots here, is that we can actually see the tangent as a tangent line, which I was totally blown away by when I first saw. Oh, this line, which is tangent to the circle, it meets the circle once. We could call that the tangent of theta. Because what's happening here is this, this larger triangle, right? Think about similar triangles. It's similar to this smaller triangle here, this smaller triangle. They both have right angles, and they both share theta. 
So the ratio of y to x equals the ratio of the tangent of theta to this bottom side. Tangent to this bottom side. That bottom side is always 1. It's the radius of the circle. So the tangent over 1 equals y over x. Those are similar sides. Similar triangles have proportional sides. So the tangent of theta over 1 equals y over x, which is the sine over cosine. This is the tangent. And I found this little cool animation on Desmos to kind of show what's happening. So here's my unit circle. But as I increase my angle, look at that tangent line. This is my tangent line. Just follow this right here. Increase it, increase it. See how, how long it's, how far it's increasing? Increasing, increasing, increasing. And then here you can see it disappears because x is 0 and tangent is y over x, and you can't divide by 0. Also, you can see that there's no way to draw a triangle, right, where the bottom, the base is 1. You just have a, a line going straight up here, right, where the base of 1, that would then connect to this point here. It's not going to work. But then over here, you can see tangent starts it, right, essentially coming down from infinity, down, 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 down to 0. And then, starting at 0, approaching infinity, again, tangent's getting longer here. And tangent's positive here, even though it's pointing down, because tangent's the ratio of y to x. And both y and x are negative, so this is actually another interval. This is from pi to 3 pi over 2, right, where tangent goes from 0, increasing without limit. And then the fourth quadrant, it decreases down to 0. So that tangent behavior, again, can be seen here in the unit circle, or you can just think of it as the ratio of y to x. You can also just play with it on the calculator to see what happens as you change the angle, as you approach cert certain intervals. Anyway, I hope that helped you. Thank you. Bye-bye.